Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, mom. Hi. Hi, Cheyenne. Hello. Hi, Evangelina. Hi. Hi, dad. Hi. So what are we doing? It's bright out. We're waiting for the train. And why are we waiting for the train? To go to Seattle. Why are we going to Seattle? To go to my graduate vacation. Hooray! Hooray! Let's go! been wanting and wanting. <laughs> Hello, this is Calica and I named her. And I got her, she's a Calico cat. That's why I named her Calico. What are you gonna win? 
I'm gonna win the prize. What's the prize? A smile. What's the game you're winning? Oh, who could pet the, the animal the, the longest? Papa's winning. You're not petting. You're not petting. <laughs> Instead of focusing on petting, she's focusing on stopping you from yeah. petting. <laughs> Oh, apparently we're doing this. Hey, hey, wave. <laughs> wave at Hi. 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 How are you doing? Good. Not yet. That's okay, we're loud enough. Hi. Hi. Yes. Okay, great. I got to. Um, my name is Veronica. I'm the career development specialist with the apprenticeship program, and I had the honor of working with our graduate Daryl during his six-month line cook apprenticeship. So, congratulations, Daryl. We're all happy to be here to um, welcome you on to the next stage of your culinary career. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my role working with uh, apprentices is to help them acclimate to the apprenticeship program. Um, get them focused on building a growth mindset in developing their chosen track and career after they finish the apprenticeship. Uh, we work together on classes, building resumes, cover letters, building a network of communities to support them in reaching their career goals. Um, and Daryl had a really awesome and um, great opportunity while here at Fair Start, uh, which was kind of unique. Um, during his apprenticeship, he started his line of apprenticeship over at Maslow's, first start second restaurant in South Lake Union. And about halfway through, had the opportunity to transition to still on the line cook track, but at a different location here at um, uh, 700 Virginia. And so Daryl had that opportunity to see two different lines, which I think really um, added some different skill sets and diversity to his learning opportunities here at Fair Start. Um, and I'll let Daryl speak more on like his uh, experiences throughout the program, uh, but I'd like to welcome up Chef Danny, who was Daryl's um, chef trainer here at Fair Start, um, and Daryl to come on up and speak okay. about. Hello everyone, um, I'm the sous chef for the Fair Start restaurant, so I, I, if you haven't dined with us, I hope you do soon. We're open Monday through Friday, 11. 11 to 2, so I hope to see y'all soon. Um, so, Daryl, it was fantastic working with, with uh, Daryl to get the opportunity. Um, uh, normally, we, we uh, my colleagues and I, and I, I should say it wasn't just me, um, my, my colleagues and I, uh, Chef Laura, Chef Lindsay, Chef Ryan, we were all there um, uh, as, as training, as a resource for Daryl. So it, it, was a, it, was a, it was a team situation. Um, but, but normally we, we're teaching students on a daily basis. So I, I was excited to try to, to, to get Daryl up a uh, step kind of above that. And so Daryl worked every single station in the restaurant and would work the station until there was a definite uh, competency there. He did a really uh, spectacular job at each of those stations. So thank you. Um, just so friendly in the kitchen. You know, your personality is, is, is super pleasant, super pleasant to be around. What I was impressed by was how resilient you were, and I thought you did really fantastic. You kind of bounce back on maybe a difficult day or when we push you. Um, we, our philosophy is that our greatness exists outside of our comfort zone. So sometimes we're pushing, trying to push each other and ourselves and, and our students outside of the comfort zone, and that's, it's, that's uncomfortable. If you're not in your comfort zone, that's uncomfortable. And I think you did a fantastic job. Um, we try to teach yes at every station with the general overall uh, philosophy of mise en place. Mise en place, everything in its place, that includes your mind and, and your body and the equipment, just for, for ready for whatever uh, comes your way. Um, I think if, if you got anything from us, I hope it, it was that the work in the kitchen is never done. It's just never done. Like, there, there's just, there's always something big, something fun, sometimes, sometimes something dirty to do in the kitchen. Um, but we just have to go home sometimes. But otherwise, it's just never done. And the learning is never over, right? Every day there's, every day there's successes, 
uh, every day there's some little bitty failures, and I just to come back tomorrow to try to learn each of those. Um, and I think I think that's the track you're on. You know, as long as you enjoy it, keep pushing hard. It's really great working with you. Congratulations, you worked hard to earn this moment. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Maslow's and that was the first time that I love something more than I thought I would. When you when you really care about something, when you really love something, you put as much as you can into it. And that's where it started for me at Maslow's with all of my chefs. The, I would be going through the kitchen trying to figure things out and they'd be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, this and like, hey, this is how you can make it better. And I always felt at home. I always felt like they cared. There was never a time in my whole program where I felt like there was somebody who was there to just destroy what I was trying to figure out. Because one thing that this program gives you that you you can't get, it's like when I think about what this program is, it's like a convention. It's not a training school because if you think about how many chefs and how many minds that you're around, it's like being at your most favorite place. It's like going to Comic-Con and meeting people who do comics because you love them so much. And you get to bounce between each person and pick each one of their minds when you're in this program. There's a thousand of them and they're all in the same industry. And they're all there to take you and push you where you want to go. And you can't, you don't have time to stop because they're just kind of pushing you. They're like, learn this, learn that, learn how to fillet a fish. And you're like, I did it. And they're like, now do this. You're like, but fill my fish. Um, but there, there was so much, like, I almost can't think of like my favorite moment because they're all my favorite. Yeah, I've had my moments, but there, it was all good. There wasn't a bad time. There wasn't a day where I'm like, this is the worst day in my life. I've had like, well, this wasn't a good day, but what can I learn from it? Because when you go out into the real world, you're gonna go, well, I've experienced this before. I've had this chef tell me this before. I've had uh, this person say this before. What did I deal with it then? And how am I gonna deal with it now? And um, when I look at that, I get to take that away. I get to take the learning from all my chefs. I mean, Chef Danny is so good. I love to just cook and I watch it. I watch what he does and he's like, looking at the tickets, reading them. Like, he knows what's happening behind him without looking, he could hear it. He knew in his head the mise en place of just the plan and how everything is executed. And with Chef Lindsay and Chef Laura and Chef Dan, and Chef Dan and Chef James and Chef Sarah. And then you got Chef Kelty. Uh, and you got these other chefs that I just got experiences to go through and Chef Eduardo and just to be able to pull from that, pull from every person. Like, pick it. Um, but like even the dishwashers, I mean the, the everybody, the line cooks and the students and there, there just was never a moment that I didn't learn. And